Welcome back. Another day, another vlog. The world of the playoffs, the baseball is what we're all about at the moment. And a couple of big games today. The Mighty Cards, my team, went down by three. Didn't get any runs, which is no good. Need to really score. It's got to get those bats going early. And we struggled all day. Both pitchers did amazing jobs. Our guy, young Jack Flaherty, has had an awesome season. Got through seven and Fold Winskits, or however you say his name, sorry. Uh, he did an awesome job as well, plus seven innings and gets the win. Um, both were, yeah, only six, Cardinals only got six hits, nine innings, so yeah, just not enough hits. Um, we, he really had his slider going well, so that was really good. Um, you just, yeah, got to get some contact. Um, Molina, I think, got two hits at least that I know of, and he was just, he just adjusted, just sort of stopped trying to hit it hard, which is sometimes a good thing, and just put bat on ball and, and just, there yeah, chunk two into left field, so that was pretty good. And then on the other side, they just, yeah, they had uh, Duval, who's come back from AAA this year, from got traded from Cincinnati, got dumped down to AAA. Um, he's had a couple of rough seasons and bounced back this year with a vengeance. Hit a heap of home runs in AAA, then come back and then comes out in, the first, in their play, second playoff game, hits a bomb for him. And it was just, um, I think, Jack was just getting a little bit tired. He just left the fastball up. It was a good fastball, mid high 90s fastball. And just in, he just got it. He knew it was coming, loaded full count. So yeah, just smashed it. So uh, a bit of a tough loss for us, but good. We go into, we should be going home now into St. Louis. We've one game apiece. We've got two, at least two games at home in front of our home crowd, which is a huge advantage for us. So I think we'll do fairly well out of that. Um, yeah, we've still got plenty of plenty of uh, action in the bullpen. So Atlanta had an injury with one of their pitchers yesterday, so he's out. They've had to bring someone up. Uh, so they're going to be, pitcher-wise, it's going to be a little bit tricky for them. They're going to have to do some shuffling. So um, we, we're still not out. It's one all. It's uh, anyone's game. So we've just got to keep fighting. Go to cards. Uh, Dodgers lost 4-2. Had a terrible one to look like. Uh, didn't look real flash from the Dodgers. And he got five hits for the game. Five hits, two runs, which isn't too bad for five hits. Uh, Nationals come out, 10 hits, uh, four runs, two really good pitches again, Kershaw and Strasburg. Strasburg had 10 Ks, so just dominant on the mound. Kershaw probably didn't have his best game. Um, he sometimes struggles in the playoffs, I've found. Uh, normally during the season, he's pretty much untouchable for whatever reason. In the playoffs, he tends to have a little bit of not the yips, but just yeah, not as finely finely tuned, I guess you can say. But yeah, um, wash, great job, Washington. Bounce back to come back and get ten hits against Kershaw and the rest of the guys. I think Kershaw only went five innings, um, so yeah, a bit of a struggle for him. Yeah, Dodgers. So that's one all there. Probably, I think after yesterday, they'll probably. You know, it's great to see Washington come back and Dodgers like a little bit, maybe a little bit overconfident and just didn't really perform today like they should have. So it'll be interesting. Um, what else? Yankees smashed, well, not, not smashed them, but 10-4 ten, ten is a bit of a bit of a hiding there. 10-4, only eight hits and they got 10 runs. Uh, a lot of guys come in. Um, Polanco, Cruz for Minnesota got home runs. And Sano and Lemieux and Gardner, home runs for the Yankees. So, what's that, five five home runs in one game? So a lot of pitches obviously weren't going that well, um, but it was definitely a hitter's game. Lemieux is uh, doing a great job. He's got um, got four RBIs today, so he's had a great day. Yeah, the Yankees, I think we all sort of thought the Yankees would probably beat the Twins, so yeah, it's, um, let's see how we go. I think the Yankees are probably gonna get them fairly easy, the Twins, so I can't see them bouncing back too much. If the Yankees just need to keep hitting like that, so that was pretty cool. Um, what else, Rays, Astros, Whew. Verlander, what a machine. Seven innings, one hit. He's a, he's a gun, he's a future Hall of Famer without a doubt. 6-2, uh, really good game, I watched their pitcher was going really well for Tampa Bay, a young guy that's a little bit struggling in the pitching department. 
really well and then El TV just got him. I think what dig was it? Let me just check. Yeah, fifth innings. So he got to the fifth and was it was nil all. Um, and El Tuve got him. We all know how good El Tuve is. He's just a machine of a hitter. Got something up and in here, high to mid nineties, and he's just somehow turned on it and put it into the stand. So, and that was the beginning, pretty much, of the end for them. They got four runs that dig, and then another two on the seventh, and they did come back the Rays in the eighth and got two, but it just wasn't enough. It was just not not enough left in the tank, I think. Um, again, Verlander, what can you say? Seven, he's come out seven innings, no runs, one hit, just smashed them, and the closers come in, had a little bit of a rough one, but then yeah, all over. And they've got more pitching to come, Houston. Uh, there was yesterday on the web, uh, on one of my things I did see, I think it was on Facebook, a guy from Houston, a big furniture store owner, old guy, Put a th I think it was $3.5 million US bet on the Astros to win the World Series. Super mega confident, biggest, I think it's the biggest bet ever on a MLB World Series bet. So yeah, pretty huge. So yeah, I, I think he's got, you know, a fairly good chance on that to probably get his money back, maybe a little bit more. Uh, the Astros are a fantastic team and they're gonna be really hard to beat. And if Verlander's pitching like that, um, Seven innings, one hit. Holy crap, that's that's really good. And uh, I'm not sure why they pulled him out one hit. Um, he's yeah. If you're pitching that well, they obviously had it in the bag. They had by then they had six runs. I figured they'd just take him out and just make sure they've got. He's got plenty of juice left for the rest of the games. So yeah, Astros a good start to their series. Um, I think they're going to do very well. Um, yeah. So a couple of good games. Yankees was a, probably the only one that was a little bit of a blown out one, but the rest sort of good. The Dodgers, from what I read, didn't have their best game. Um, more tomorrow. Uh, Yankees twins at five o'clock in the morning. If you're watching this tomorrow morning, you have to get up early again for the Yankees. And then the Astros play the Rays game two at 9 a.m. or thereabouts in Australia. So a couple of other good games, the Astros Rays. I'm not sure who's pitching tomorrow just see if I can find that for you. See if they've got the things. Okay, you got Tanaka for the Yankees and Dobnik for Minnesota, and oh, you got Tampa Bay, you got Snell, and you got Jared Cole. Jared Cole is a freak. He is a, another 20, 20 and five for the year with a 2.5 VRA. Like, they just have aces after aces after aces in Houston. Um, yeah, I'd definitely be putting my money on Houston again there. If Jared Cole's anywhere like Verlander today, it, uh, the only way they're going to be stopped is if they don't hit. So, and they have like some just elite hitters. Um, Minnesota Tanaka, Tanaka, Minnesota pitches two and one, one point five ERA. He's all right, Dominic. Um, hasn't had too many wins, but uh, like that's a decent ERA. And Tanaka's sort of fifty-fifty. He's either on or he's not. Um, a lot of ground balls, a lot of pop-ups. So he should go pretty well. Again, I think the Yankees just need to keep hitting. That's their secret. That's what they're going to do. And just go from there. So, yeah, another two good games. Again, probably be Houston versus Tampa. Another great pitcher to watch. Uh, definitely worth checking that out. That's it for the playoffs today for the baseball side. Very good. It's very exciting to watch it every day to get so much good baseball. Now... Uh, the only other thing I wanted to talk about, not much tech around the weekends, we, as we know, nothing ever happens. I don't, I'm not sure. Everyone sort of seems to have that weekend off, except for me. I keep working. Uh, lucky I get a smoker break to do this. New fish in the wild. I've been plugging it since the first the, the season started, and I've got another episode out. It's an old episode uh, from Arnhem Land Billabong Fishing for Barra at Night. Uh, it's a great episode. Yet again, the boys are doing a fantastic job. Um, some really good, beautiful silver barra they catch, um, which is billabong. They sort of tend to get a little bit dark. Uh, this was from a couple of years ago, so, so it looked like they must have had a bit more rain, so a little bit fresher. Um, yeah, pretty wild, some beautiful, some beautiful footage. 
definitely worth watching. Get over there, I've chucked that on our Facebook page as well, so you can just hit the link and go through. But yeah, Fish in the Wild, new episode, Barra, Barra Nights out in Arnhem Land. Uh, beautiful place, again, you need the permission to get out there. It's unspoiled, untouched Aboriginal land, and it's just an amazing place. I used to go out there and grade roads when I was a young mechanic for the old man. Um, we used to go out and fix the machines. So I'm oh, very lucky to be one of the few people that have been out there to, to witness it and see what it's really like. And that was back in the 80s or 80s, early or early 90s. So yeah, beautiful spot and some great fishing. Again, check it out, definitely worth it. It's a, a, they just do a fantastic job putting these uh, videos together. Awesome job, guys. Get over, check them out, support them. They're promoting the territory, which is a fantastic place. Again, see you in the NT. Get up there, go fishing. Don't forget, while I do have you, the Million Dollar Fish is started again, October this month, if you haven't already registered. Um, if you're not sure if you're going up to Darwin to go fishing, doesn't matter, still registered. You can win, they have monthly prizes that you can win anyway. Um, so it's better to register now. You might win something. Think of me, if you do, chuck, it, chuck me something, chuck a dog a bone. But if not, you might be going up before March in the year, so you can, you already are registered, so don't have to worry about it. You, the last thing you wanna do is get up there or go fishing and catch a tagged fish if not being registered, because that would look bad. You, you might have 10 grand, you might have the million dollars. Now don't forget, that I think there's six million dollar tags now, so there's five previous tags, and then the new tag for this year. Uh, so that's six, six options to get a million bucks if you catch the right barramundi. So that's an amazing thing done by the NT government. So register, go fishing. Uh, wet, what's the wet season sort of coming up for us, but they haven't had much rain. So definitely have a look, suss it out. There's some great options there. There's plenty of guide, guides that can take you fishing. There's some amazing places. If uh, you're just in Darwin for a short time, go out and see the Barramundi Adventure guys. Uh, you can go out there and catch a barra. You don't need anything. You can just book in and rock up and have a fish. Um, and you can just take a hire car out there. So there's plenty of options and it's an amazing, beautiful place. I definitely recommend it. Anyway, that's enough from me. I hope you have a great Saturday night. Have a beer from me or a nice glass of red, a nice little Shiraz or something. It's still a little bit cold, so you could probably jump into a little cab sav or something. That'll probably go down well. And I'll see you all tomorrow. So wherever you're coming, home from work, going out to dinner, or having a few beers with the lads. Have a great night, and I'll see you all tomorrow. See ya.